Okay, so also we have um, liquid slow release uh, nitrogen. So these are called SRN, uh, and usually it is a some sort of reaction of urea with formaldehyde. And there's, there's three different forms. We have urea form, which is kind of the old school uh, slow release nitrogen. Uh, we have methylene, uh, urea, and we have uh, triazone. So urea form is going to be like your, your nitro form, uh, which is real popular on the, on the golf courses. It's so expensive, it's almost impossible to, to apply in a residential setting. Uh, as far as its release factor, it's going to release super slow. All of these urea plus formaldehyde uh, SRNs, the way they work is it's actually going to build a longer chain. So the urea will put a chain on... Uh, the formaldehyde will put a chain on, on your urea. <clears throat> so, you know, we'll have multiple chains that, that come off. And what happens is these chains have to be broken down in order for that urea to be released. And the way these chains are broken down is going to be by soil microbes. Uh, so all of these will be consumed by soil microbes. And depending on, you know, soil temperatures and uh, the, the amount of microbial activity you have going on in your soil will determine uh, the rate of release of these urea plus formaldehyde forms. <clears throat> so your urea form is, uh, out of it, you end up getting like 85% slowly. So if it comes out to, you know, a 30 zero, zero, it's going to be about 85% slow release. Whereas methylene urea is not going to be that high. Uh, I think you come in at about 60% slow release out of it and with the, the triazone I, I think you're at like 70% slow release with it. And um, uh, <clears throat> again they're a little bit cost prohibited um, to use on a, a residential market. Um, I have used triazone urea and not been happy with the color response. Uh, I know there are some guys that use methylene urea. Uh, one of the more uh, popular products is going to be Helena's Coron, uh, you know, control release nitrogen. It, it, it's it's actually a blend of methylene urea plus urea, um, and then oh, there's there's several different people out there that that produce these. Um, these uh, methylene urea, you know, slow release liquids. Uh, again, they're they're expensive. They're very expensive. I do not like the color response from triazone urea. I got no color. Um, I do get color response from methylene urea. Uh, it's it's good color. Um, yeah, with nitroform, you know, you get you get good color, <clears throat> but you don't get the same level of color that you get from what's our other one, a Uflex or a Umax. Uh, this you're actually going to get a lot better color. You're not going to get the same length of color. You're not going to get the same amount of color for the the same length of time with your Uflex and Umax. Uh, so again, six weeks, eight weeks. Uh, with these, you're probably looking at 10 weeks, 12 weeks, 16 weeks, unless you're going with the nitro form. Uh, that could be 16 weeks or even longer. Uh, with these poly coats, depending on how thick they put this polymer coating on here, uh, these can go from you know four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks. 
Uh, I want to say they have a duration uh, 45, which would be, uh, you know, how, however many weeks, you know, 45 days is. That's a that's a, a pretty good, so six weeks approximately. And then I want to say duration also has a 60, and I want to say they may have a 90, a duration of 90, so that's three months, that's 12 weeks. <clears throat> Again, the the longer the release you get out of it, uh, the more expensive the product is, is going to be. So, anyway, these are our forms of uh, of of urea uh, fertilizers here. And the last fertilizer I want to talk about is uh, is going to be uh, Lebanon's turf. Uh, Lebanon turf. Uh, they have a product called Mesa. Mesa fertilizer, and uh, I can get this through through Helena Chemical as well. Uh, Mesa fertilizer is sold in a pure form as a 30 zero zero. That's a 100% Mesa. And what this is, why I like this, I think this is a, a unique product, and I look forward to to using more of it next year. Is uh, this consists of Methylene, methylene, urea, and ammonium sulfate. In one prill. So we're going to have urea and AS all in one prill and whether you cut this prill in half it's still going to be methylene urea and ammonium sulfate and methylene urea and ammonium sulfate <clears throat> again methylene urea is going to provide a pretty long uh, a, a pretty slow release because it's going to have to be broken down by uh, microbial activity um, uh, whereas you know just a uh, straight ammonium sulfate is going to be broken down by, by water. Uh, so uh, it's going to provide a quick release, you know, and great color from, from your ammonium, which is, you know, very similar to your ammonia uh, that our urea converts into, and it's that ammonia that's a, a usable nitrogen form. Uh, so ammonium sulfate is a very active, very ready usable nitrogen form, and uh, the ammonia uh, will give an immediate uh, color response where that methylene urea can fill in the gaps of, of maintaining that length of, uh, of color. Uh, so I think that's a, that's a, a pretty neat product there. All right, y'all, that's going to be my video on urea. Uh, next, I'm going to move into a little bit on ammonium nitrate and ammonium sulfate uh, as other forms of nitrogen. And then we'll touch base a little bit on uh, phosphorus, potassium, and micronutrients availability in terms of pH. Uh, so anyway, y'all uh, stay tuned and stick around. If you have any questions, comments, uh, please do so below or feel free to uh, shoot me an email at info at Don't forget, uh, please click the like button and subscribe. Thanks, everybody. Have a good one.